She did disappear for 11 days quite famously. The press turned on her because of this. Um, with very little explanation at the time, but she did go on to speak about it to the Daily Mail afterwards. And um, uh, um, people were having none of it really. They weren't very sympathetic about it because she admitted to struggling with her mental health. Tell us about how she disappeared, what happened and what the furore around it was like. Yes, the, the next best thing after her writing that Agatha Christie is known for is this real life crime drama that she seems to have been caught up in, in the year 1926, when she disappeared for 11 days and there was a national manhunt for her. And eventually he, she was discovered living in a hotel in Harrogate under a false name. So after all of this hunting that had been done, people wanted answers. They wanted to know what had happened. And uh, the answer that her doctors gave was that Mrs Christie had had lost her memory. And the thing is, that sounded so implausible that no one believed it. And instead, journalists developed this counter-narrative, perhaps a more exciting counter-narrative, which was that she disappeared either to get publicity for her books or, this is a good one, she disappeared in order to frame her cheating husband with her murder. This ah. is it, because she, she lived in a world where she, her contribution to the world was so fantastical in terms of her, her whodunit mystery books. Yes. When yes. she went missing, there was the car discovered with her passport and documents in the car. Yes. So, yes. I mean, for all accounts, it was leading up to be a juicy Agatha Christie story. Yes. So then when the truth came out in the end that it might have just been a, a breakdown or, or an episode, yes. Yeah, the media didn't buy that and they wanted to make it more fantastical. And in the book, we obviously go into that mm. without giving too much away. Are you confident that the, the version of events that is in the book is, is about as true to life as, as we can get? Yes, I, I am confident. I, I think this is not a mystery. People always talk of it as if it is a mystery, but it's astonishing to me. 18 months after this all happened, her divorce was coming to court. She needed to get custody of her daughter. She felt she had to give her side of the story. So she gave an interview to the Daily Mail, which is read by millions of readers, right? Mm. And in this interview, she says, look, what happened is that I was experiencing suicidal thoughts that night. I was really ill. And she had 11 days of this utter, horrible, desperate episode of mental health problems. And the thing is, people didn't want to hear that. It was no. difficult to hear, it was uncomfortable to hear. So it didn't, people didn't take it in. And they went on saying that she disappeared deliberately for, for reasons that were selfish and, and, and bad. And it makes me angry that this story persisted for as long as it did. Because, you know, it moved from those newspapers into history books. Mm. And from history books, it's moved into popular culture. A lot of people would say, yes, there was something a bit off mm. about that woman, Agatha Christie.